Welcome to our Underclass Student Awards Night. My name is Chris Elsasser. I'm the principal and a 1982 graduate. Tonight we celebrate excellence that comes from the collaboration between the individual and the community. For the individual, we see a confidence in the self. We see a willingness to persevere through struggles and a capacity to listen to and act on feedback given by others. From the community, there's a belief in the potential of each individual, a willingness to provide support and honest feedback, and to be there when individuals stumble along their way. And I want to give a particular thank you to the families and to the teachers who have allowed these young people to stand on their shoulders and enabled the tide to rise for all of us. I'm Selena King, Chairman of the Nauset English Department, here to recognize some outstanding students this evening. Emily Dickinson once wrote, We never know how high we are till we are called to rise. The students here tonight have displayed through their achievements the height and breadth of their abilities. Even though this has been a challenging year, they have exhibited fortitude and positivity that have helped inspire others. The English department tonight celebrates these wonderful students and their many achievements. The first award this evening is the ninth grade English department award and it goes to Miss Ella Woods. Ms. Lum, Ella's English teacher, describes Ella in these glowing terms. Ella is an intellectual powerhouse with a work ethic to match. She delivers work of exceptional quality with a masterful command of language. Even a sports injury or two this year did not deter her from her lofty goals. In fact, she has set the pace for her classmates with her abilities and intellect. Congratulations, Ella, on your award this evening. Our second award is the 10th grade department award, and it goes to Skylar Locke. Ms. Benz conveys these lofty sentiments about Skylar. A leader of the pack, he has an innate understanding of literature. He is a keen thinker who makes astute cross-disciplinary connections. He, prompt, he delivers work of the highest quality. He has created many top-notch projects as well with great attention to detail. In fact, Ms. Bentz is so impressed, she comments he would make a great teaching assistant because of his maturity and intellect. And that's quite a compliment. So congratulations, Skylar, on your award this evening. Our third award tonight is the 11th grade English Department Award, and that award goes to Clemmy Baltz. William Shakespeare wrote, to be a well-favored man is the gift of fortune, but to write and read comes by nature. This quote by the Bard embodies our winner, Clem Baltz, as literature seems to be in her blood. This year, she juggled both senior AP and junior AP, proving herself to be a versatile and sensitive literary critic. She has an intuitive understanding of language and always an original point of view. Her passion for language transcends the classroom. As an original fiction writer, a founding member of the Poetry Club at Nauset, and a representative of our department during our winter open house. Clem is planning to attend Bennington College this fall and no doubt will set the world on fire with her many talents. Congratulations, Clem, on your award. The next award is the Core Value Award for ninth grade, and that award goes to Rihanna Jones. Ms. Smith, Rihanna's English teacher, writes, Rihanna is a wonderful addition to our school. She is a relative newcomer to Nauset, moving in from the Dakotas this fall. 
She hit the ground running at Nosset, excelling at her schoolwork and joining cheerleading and the music program as well. She is a bright light among her peers and is an enthusiastic thinker and learner. A quiet leader, she encourages others in class and sets a high but achievable bar. Congratulations, Rihanna, and welcome to Nosset. Our next award winner tonight is the 10th grade core value award, and it goes to Lillian Pooler. Ms. Lum, Lillian's current English teacher, sings Lillian's praises. She states, Lillian absolutely loves English and has been a stellar student, displaying impressive effort and devotion to the subject. A voracious reader and learner, she has gone beyond classroom expectations and pursued her own path of intellectual inquiry. Most importantly, she exhibits great character in her refusal to take an easier path and encouraging her peers to achieve their own very best. In fact, Lillian represents a model for student achievement for all of Nosset. Congratulations, Lillian, for your award this evening. Our next award is the 11th grade Core Value Award, and it goes to Emma Pike Stein. Mr. Hendricks, her current teacher, comments, Emma is the most determined and responsible student he can remember teaching. She never misses a homework assignment and is flexible and thoughtful, embracing feedback. Even in these times of EC, AKA emergency credit, Emma is a person who goes above and beyond, even when there is no grade attached. Like Henry David Thoreau, Emma looks at life deeply and gives her all to whatever she does. Congratulations, Emma, on your award this evening. The next set of awards are book awards given by national colleges and universities to recognize juniors who have contributed substantially to Nosset's extracurricular and academic environment. Our first recipient this evening is Emma Kroll. Emma will be winning the Assumption College Book Award. That award is given to a student with exemplary academic and personal qualities. Well-deserved, Emma. Congratulations tonight. The next book award, another very deserving candidate, Rachel Pranga. Rachel's winning the Brown University Book Award given for excellence in academic and extracurricular life. Congratulations, Rachel, on your award this evening. The next book award is the Harvard University Book Award given to Izzy Nobley. Izzy has been selected for this award because of her outstanding contributions to the academic and extracurricular life of this school, including taking our Nosset recycling program to the next level uh, and all her academic excellence. So congratulations, Izzy. The next award is a twofer. It's the St. Michael's College Book Award. It's given to two juniors, Garrison Guzzo and Bella Testa. Garrison and Bella are being recognized tonight for their thoughtful contributions to both academics, this school, and our community as a whole. Congratulations, Garrison and Bella, for your achievement. Finally, last but not least, Liam Randall is being celebrated uh, by the Williams College Book Award. Liam is receiving this award because he embodies the qualities of a love of learning and a love of intellectual exploration. Congratulations, Liam, and all our recipients tonight for their wonderful achievements. Hello, everyone. This year, the department wishes to recognize individuals in each of the three grades, nine through 11. The students receiving department awards have not only demonstrated high achievement in their course, but also displayed a deep understanding and appreciation of the rigor and underpinnings of the course and worked beyond the standard expectations of the course. They have, on occasion, provided service to their teacher and their classmates. The first award is our ninth grade department award, and it goes to Olivia Connors Gale. 
Olivia is being recognized for her achievement in Algebra 1 and her continuous positive attitude towards peers. Her algebra teacher, Mrs. Reeves, states that whatever task is assigned, Olivia is prepared, ready to share with others, and contribute to class discussions. Olivia is always willing to put in the extra time and effort to make sure her assignments are completed on time and with 100% effort. Olivia is attentive to instructions and works diligently to complete quality work that reflects her Algebra 1 skills. Responsible and respectful are words that describe why Olivia is a great role model for others and why she's being honored for this award. Congratulations to Olivia. Our 10th grade department award goes to a gentleman that has studied two honors level courses in one year quite successfully. Luke McCarthy began the year in honors advanced algebra and quickly realized that he had the passion and the desire to learn and study so much more. He studied and worked independently and successfully completed the advanced algebra curriculum by mid-year. At that point, he began the work of learning the curriculum for honors precalculus, no easy task as he was jumping into it midway through the year. So congratulations to Luke McCarthy for our 10th grade department award. Our 11th grade department award goes to a student whose quiet confidence is admirable, Izzy Nobley. Izzy has an amazing grasp of new concepts, but will often question her clarity, not because she's confused or unsure, but because she wants to be 100% sure that she is sure. Although she does exceptionally well and earns high grades, she does not have an arrogant bone in her body. If she questions an incorrect problem on a test or a quiz, it is not because she thinks the teacher marked it wrong by mistake, but because she truly wants to know what the real answer is and why. She has an unquenchable thirst for knowledge and contributes wholeheartedly to class and group discussions. During the past few months, she never considered remote learning optional and was always one of the first students to turn in assignments and often asked insightful questions. To Izzy, there's nothing optional about learning. As if all of this wasn't enough, Izzy is one of the sweetest people you will ever meet with a heart of gold that is as big and constant as her beautiful smile. It is with great pleasure that we award Izzy Nobly the 11th grade department award. The students receiving core value awards have demonstrated self-discipline, critical thinking skills, peer-to-peer -peer interaction, independence, and risk-taking. These award winners have encouraged others, valued the contribution of others, and demonstrated respect and kindness, strive for academic excellence, and exhibited enthusiasm in learning. Our ninth grade core values award goes to Sabine Crum. Sabine is a tireless worker and a quiet leader who is respected by her classmates and teachers. Her enthusiasm and work ethic are second to none. Always willing to help her classmates, she exemplifies what it means to be a positive role model at our school. Congratulations, Sabine. The 10th grade Core Values Award goes to Jeremiah Pronga. Jerry is an excellent student who treats everyone with respect. His pleasant demeanor and positive attitude make him a standout among his peers. Jerry has demonstrated qualities for this award by taking risks in the mathematics department and taking two courses this year, one of them at the honors level. He never lets setbacks discourage him and is enthusiastic about learning. Congratulations, Jeremiah. And finally, the 11th grade Core Values Award goes to Krista Walsh. Krista comes to class every day with a smile on her face and a desire to learn. She's dedicated to being the best version of herself and puts a great amount of effort into everything she does. Krista is, Krista is supportive and collaborative with her peers, which makes her a great role model in class. Congratulations, Krista. With the goal of making college easy, the History and Social Sciences Department offers uniformly rigorous course studies focused on critical thinking, writing, and analysis. Regardless of what level our students are at, our goal is to, to increase their knowledge and skills sufficiently to excel in one or more of our varied selection of honors courses, IB program, or 
a choice of six different AP courses. The ninth grade history department's core value award goes to Grace Curtis. Laura Burnett, Grace's history teacher, states that Grace demonstrates a commitment to doing her best every day. In history class, her work ethic reflects a belief that small efforts add up over time and that little things become the big things. Grace does not skim the surface. She is curious and insightful, consistently asking meaningful questions and making connections between academic content and her life experiences. Her kindness and gift for humble leadership made her a core member of our class community, and she has she could continually be relied upon to share her knowledge, experience, time, and energy with her fellow classmates. It was an honor to have her in class this year. Congratulations, Grace. The 10th grade History Social Sciences Core Value Values Award is given to Felicity Savage. Her teacher, Jeff Kelly, states that throughout this year, Felicity has put a staggering amount of work into all the she all the work she produces. Her class notes are color coded, her writing is thorough, and her action figure catalog pr project was layered and three dimensional. Never before has an FDR action figure been so magnificently advertised. Without question, she deserves this award, and even though she laughs at Mr. Kelly's beard. The 11th grade History Social Sciences Core Values Award is given to Michaela Hutchinson. Michaela has been a student in psychology while at the same time undertaking the rigorous AP US History course. She holds herself to a high standard and dedicates herself to every assignment, larger or small, with care and honest reflection. Michaela is a quiet leader who holds much academic pro promise for the years to come. She embodies the personal and professional characteristics that represent the best of Nosset's community character. Mr. Allen wishes her luck in her future endeavors and for her to have a fulfilling senior year. The History Social Sciences Department Award for Excellence in the ninth grade is awarded to Nadia Peterson. Nadia has de demonstrated excellence in every aspect of the Honors World History Curriculum. Her historical understanding and analysis of the causes, effects, and implications for the modern world are at times college level and beyond. She is always willing, able, and ready to help her classmates meet the high standards and expectations, and all with a smile and a giggle. The 10th grade History Social Sciences Award for Excellence is awarded to Will Mulholland. His teacher, Andrew Clark, states that Will has made stellar progress throughout the year with his insights, comments, and work overall. Marvel master by the end of the year, generating oohs and ahs from his classmates on Zooms as well as in actual class. While Will watched closely at the start, he participated with abandon later. Will has high expectations of himself in everything he does. Congratulations, Will. The History Social Sciences Department Award for Excellence for the 11th grade is awarded to Izzy Nobly. Izzy's teacher comments that Izzy is all in. She sees her education as a gift and she relishes the opportunity to take hold of each opportunity to dive deeper into her subject of study. In AP US history, she tackled complex subjects with enthusiasm and rigor because she values the process of learning and growing and understanding. Her learning process is creative and joyful. She brings humor in the classroom and adds levity to class discussions, while also challenging everyone in the room, her teacher included, to consider things more carefully and deeply. Izzy has a gift for independent thinking and approaches her study of history from a place of strong moral integrity. This enables her to articulate her ideas with clarity and precision, precision and to be honest and forthright with her peers. Perhaps most importantly, in a course that is rigorous and fast paced, Izzy is a remarkably generous learner who is kind and helpful to others and consistently seeks to elevate the group, not herself. This is the Science Department Underclass Awards. 
This year, the Freshman Department Award recipient is Ella Woods. Ella is the consummate student. Her work ethic, sense of responsibility, along with great intellect, makes for a student who excels in all that she undertakes. Never one to boast of her accomplishments, Ella simply goes about her work with a sense of inner pride, con consistently producing high quality work. At times, her quiet focus goes unnoticed. This has been a year with a number of setbacks for Ella as she pursues her passion for gymnastics. Those setbacks never deterred Ella from being a fully engaged and proactive student. Her dedication to her education and sports will take her far. Congratulations, Ella. The Sophomore Science Department Award recipient is Skylar Bates. Skylar continues to be that science student who makes it clear this is going to be an area of expertise in his future. An effective collaborator with his peers and teachers is a key ingredient for success in the science arena. Skylar's ability to take on challenging work, ask thoughtful questions, and effectively problem solve shows that he has the mind of a scientist. Congratulations, Skylar. The Junior Class Science Department Award recipient is Izzy Nobly. Where to start? Izzy has a work ethic and passion that anyone would be hard pressed to top. Add to that her intelligence and thoughtfulness, and you have an individual who is unstoppable. Her commitment, influence, and ethics occurs every day in the classroom and beyond. Her dedication to the environment and the Green Club is evidenced by the changes she has brought forth to our campus. And her kindness to others, combined with a passion to help others, puts her first across the finish line. Congratulations, Izzy. The Freshman Science Core Value Award goes to Olivia Connors Gale. Olivia is such a quiet student that it becomes easy to overlook her. That is until she proposes thoughtful answers to posed questions. Her kindness, thoughtfulness, and soft manner in the classroom and beyond is appreciated by many. She listens carefully to learn about her peers, her teachers, and her community. Her small, thoughtful actions towards others throughout the year brightens the day, and brings a smile to a face. Thank you, Olivia, and congratulations. The Sophomore Science Core Value Award recipient is Skylar Locke. Skylar has shown himself to be an excellent problem solver and an effective communicator and an honorable individual. He has the ability to listen to and work with others in a kind and compassionate manner. He shows leadership through his advocacy for others and a willingness to take the time and effort needed to support those around him. Congratulations, Skylar. The Junior Science Corps Value Award recipient is Emma Pike Stein. Emma has taken on many challenges in her life, and what we see is a young woman with the ability to put forth excellence, to self-advocate, and to problem solve with an emotional maturity not often seen. Emma has compassion for others and helps her fellow classmates in a kind and thoughtful manner. It is clear that her inner values for herself and her care for others are characteristics that are ingrained. Congratulations, Emma. This year, the MIT Club of Cape Cod Book Award recipient is Lucy Blood. STEM is recognized for fostering hands-on, active participation to actually solve problems. MIT is known for excellence, maybe nerdiness, and certainly valuing collaboration. Add passion, creativity, and kindness of heart to that, and you have Lucy Blood. Congratulations, Lucy. The Rensselaer Medal Award recipient is Michael Whitney. This merit scholarship is presented by the Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute to a student who has shown superlative academic achievement in math and science and shows potential for success in these professions. Each award recipient who is accepted and enrolls receives a medal scholarship of $15,000 for each of the four years they attend the Institute. In addition to being a great student, Michael is also a competitive chess player. We see Michael's strength in both pursuits. While showing sportsmanship, Michael is always determined to improve and of course wants to win. He is similarly determined in class. He enjoys challenges, sees patterns, and is a creative, strategic thinker who wants to solve the problems. Congratulations, Michael. This year's Bausch & Lomb Award recipient is Rachel Mumford. Presented by the University of Rochester, 
The Bausch & Lomb Honorary Science Award gives the student the opportunity to compete for a $30,000 scholarship to attend the University of Rochester. This award is presented to a student who has successfully completed science as a freshman, sophomore, and one semester of junior year, who has shown academic excellence in science, who has taken rigorous courses in science, and who has achieved high scores in the math PSATs and SATs. Rachel is an exceptionally creative student who interacts with the world in a scientific way, observing, questioning, hypothesizing, and investigating. Her passion, empathy, and intelligence will carry her far and benefit many. Congratulations, Rachel. On behalf of the Nauset Regional High School Science Department, thank you for being part of our community. We have missed you in this most challenging spring of 2020. We wish all the best for you as you move forward and beyond Nauset Regional High School. Congratulations and stay well. Good evening. My name is Diane Keon. I'm in the SWS department. And this evening, our underclass award for both history and English goes to Monique Malcolm. Monique Malcolm has been recognized for her athletic prowess. She is a sprinter, which requires a combination of physical and mental attributes that are honed by intensive training. Although the distance may be short, the effort to succeed is never ending. Monique applies the same intensity of energy and focus into her studies. Much like on the track, Monique is often first to engage in the classroom, first to volunteer, and first in our class rank. In terms of academic accomplishments, she is no sprinter, but instead a long distance runner. Congratulations, Monique. Hi, I'm Karen Novakon with the SWS department. I'm here to present our Core Values Award. The SWS Core Values Award is presented this year to Natalie Como, a young woman who has internalized her love of learning in ways that will better her community and beyond. Natalie quietly leads by example with her strong work ethic, solid moral compass, caring nature, and positive attitude. She is always genuine and willing to help others and has an adventurous spirit that makes her a joy to be around. Natalie has genuinely embraced our program and exemplifies all that we hope for in an SWS student. Congratulations, Natalie. Good evening, my name is Lisa Orlandella and I chair the Business and Technology Department. It is my honor to award the Department and Core Value Awards this evening, but I must admit it was a difficult decision. We offer so many different courses that range from entrepreneurship to creative video storytelling, MIT autonomous vehicles, and many computer science courses that it's difficult to choose how one best shows their achievement. There's a saying we use in our department, it's not how smart are you, it's how are you smart. And these different courses allow for so many different ways for students to show how they shine. Some are resilient when it comes to coding and finding that bug. Some are creative when they talk about uh, being behind a camera at Nauset News. Some can create a really useful app. And there's also, uh, some can criti critically analyze um, criminal laws or privacy policies of really popular apps. So we're proud of all of our students, especially in these trying times. And without Further ado, the Business and Technology Department's Video Technology Award goes to Josie Gaynor. The saying, it's not how you start, it's how you finish, basically sums up the way Josie Gaynor improved throughout the semester in video technology. According to her teacher, Ms. McCulley, initially shy and reserved, Josie slowly emerged as my go-to student striving to improve and contribute to all group video projects. She also incorporated fresh ideas in powerful storytelling on Nauset News. She went above and beyond during the school closure to take on the role of anchor. She did it with professionalism and passion. Humble and mature, the underclass 
Nosset News Video Technology Award goes to Josie Gaynor. The Business and Technology Department's Computer Science Award goes to Bennett Hartley. Bennett excelled in all aspects of the AP Computer Science Principles course. His research into the innovations regarding brain-computer interface using electroencephalography and many different purposes such as EEG technology controlling prosthetic limbs was thorough, ethical, and deep analysis. Likewise, his memory exercise app exceeded the AP standards. Bennett is a curious learner who is kind to others. In short, he makes Nosset Regional High School a better place. It's a pleasure to award the Computer Science Award to Bennett Hartley. The Business and Technology Department's Business Award goes to Michaela Hutchinson. Michaela consistently produces exceptionally high quality work. She submits ideas that are well presented and supported by specific examples. She is very much a pleasure to have in class. The Video Technology Core Value Award goes to Finn Riley. Finn Riley is a living example of what a good person truly is. Being a good person isn't hard, but it just doesn't happen to everybody. Finn has the innate ability of infusing integrity into the classroom setting, says teacher Ms. McCulley. He makes those around him better and work harder. He is modest, courageous, and bold. His approach in sports production, whether it is writing an assignment, a Nosset Sports Rundown report, or a creative video project, it's loaded with precision and accuracy. Simply said, he is the measuring stick of the classroom. The Computer Science Core Value Award goes to Katherine Kroll. As a young woman taking her first computer science class, Katie showed grit and determination, learning ab abstract concepts new to her. Katie persevered, learning foreign programming concepts. She worked well together in groups, often bringing a smile and laughter to all of us. Your Computer Science Core Value Award winner, Katie Kroll. The Business Core Value Award goes to Kevin Amaru. Kevin is a conscientious student who regularly participates in class, showing his inquisitiveness and eagerness to learn. He is respectful, intelligent, and diligent, as well as a considerate classmate. Thank you, members of our NASA community. You are missed. Stay well. Hi, everyone. I'm Ariana Kimmick, the World Language Department Chair. And at this time, I would like to share with you our recipients for the World Language Awards. The first award that I'll be sharing is for our ninth grade departmental award. This award is going to Sophie McIsaac. Congratulations. Sophie McIsaac is receiving this award for the year 2019 to 2020. Sophie is enrolled in both Spanish Two Honors and American Sign Language One. She comes to class each day eager to learn and with a smile on her face. It is clear to her teachers that Sophie dedicates significant time towards her studies and puts forth a strong effort in her attempts to learn both languages. Sophie is a role model to her peers as she is highly cooperative and helpful to all, and she is always ready and willing to participate positively in class. At this time, I would like to share with you our 10th grade departmental award recipient, Ludmia Lima. Madame, Jean question, that's Mia, ever curious and inquisitive. She is the quintessential go-getter, dynamic, enthusiastic, persistent, and engaged. She comes to class every day, ready to learn for learning's sake, asks pertinent questions, and is always positive. Her progress in French has been, of course, excellent. She understands everything she listens to, speaks naturally, writes with precision, and enjoys reading. She is always humble, too, and doesn't take her education or knowledge for granted. Mia is an asset to the class, brings light to the room, and I know she will continue to grow as a student in person. Felicitación, Mia. And now I would like to share with you our 11th grade departmental award, Isabel Nidal. When Isabel talked to Madame last year about studying abroad for half a year, she didn't know that she would follow through. 
This is a very courageous thing to do at the age of 15. It shows determination to excel in and master the language, as well as inner strength and resilience. Not only did she adapt to a new culture, live with a French family, but she came back speaking French like a native speaker. Madame has been teaching for a long time and hasn't seen this kind of progress so quickly. Isabel opened her mind, adapted to and assimilated into the culture, and has made lifelong friends. Her experience is inspirational, and Madame hopes she will share it with other students interested in studying abroad. Bravo, Isabel. Congratulations to the three recipients for the World Language 9th, 10th, and 11th grade departmental awards. Now I would like to share with you the 9th grade core award winner recipient for World Languages, Kelly Dulock. Kelly Dulock embodies the attitude, energy, and investment that comes with learning a new language. Genuinely interested in both the cultural and linguistic aspects of learning a world language, Kelly enthusiastically encourages others to explore Francophone films, history, arts, and especially music, playing and singing in French daily on her way to school, reviving her dad's love for the language as well. Kelly focuses on speaking French in class at all times, using natural inflection and applying all concepts as soon as she learns them. While she will be surprised to receive this award, probably thinking others are more worthy, Kelly totally deserves to be recognized for all of her outstanding efforts and enthusiasm that unites her class. Congratulations, Kelly. Our 10th grade core world language recipient is William Mahalan. One of the many virtues of a classical education is that it provides stability in a time of uncertainty and historical depth of understanding in times of chaos and insecurity. The poet, Horace, once wrote, Remember to keep an even temperament even in difficult times. Wilma Holland exemplifies such disposition. He is disciplined, measured, and steady in everything that he does. He is happy in his successes and learns from his mistakes. Mostly, however, he takes seriously the task of learning to recognize the threads of humanity across history and cultures and to value and cherish what binds us together in civilization. Will has been dedicated and completely committed to supporting his class through class activities, meetings, and Senate involvement, as well as student council. He is an active member, he participates regularly, and is fully committed to making the world a better place. Congratulations, Will. Our 11th grade core award recipient is Megan Farrell. Megan is an NRHS junior who has proven herself to be a dedicated, motivated language learner in ASL level one. She is very invested in the continuation of NRHS's ASL program. She always volunteers her time and support at school events. Megan is not afraid to ask questions in class, which has been to the benefit of many of her peers who do not always feel as comfortable participating as she does. She has a great deal of empathy, which has been evident every time she stays late after class to help any classmates who did not fully understand the lesson. She's clearly internalized much of what she has learned in her coursework as she is considered of the needs of the deaf community. Her expressive and receptive skills are far beyond what is typically demonstrated by a level one student. For being herself, Megan truly deserves the 11th grade core World Language Award. Congratulations, Megan. At this time, I would like to read the award recipients of the Latin National Exam. Josh Bodemar, receiving a National Latin Exam Certificate. Lucy Swain, National Exam Certificate. Cece Labarge, Meritorious Ribbon and Certificate. Chris Barber. Meritorious Ribbon and Certificate. Christina Egeli, Natin National Exam Cum Laude Award Recipient. Tristan Miller, Cum Laude Award Recipient. Wilma Holland, Cum Laude Award Recipient. Stephanie Gould, Cum Laude Recipient. Lily Schumann, Magna Cum Laude Recipient. Lucy Blood, Magna Cum Laude Recipient. Isabel Novoli, Magna Cum Laude recipient. Kaylee Brown, Silver Maxima Cum Laude recipient. And Clementine Valtz, Silver Maxima Cum Laude recipient. Congratulations to all participants. Be well, take care, and stay safe. Hi, my name is Tom Ferris, and it's my honor to present the awards for the Fine Arts Department of Nassau Regional High School to these talented underclassmen. 
We have an extremely varied and talented and diligent group of students enrolled in over 75 classes at Nosset High School. We're going to be honoring just a few of these tonight. They're going to be divided into three sections, the applied arts, the visual arts, and the performing arts. The first award I'm proud to present is the ninth grade Applied Arts Award, and this award goes to Parker Gamsey. Parker's culinary skills are quite impressive, but his positivity, creativity, support of teammates, and the pleasure he takes in making good food are attributes that make Parker a standout student in the Applied Arts. The Applied Arts Core Value Award in ninth grade is being awarded to Lily Hay. Lily is an excellent student with an excellent work ethic whose expansive work and jewelry is to be commended. We look forward to seeing what she'll do in this medium over the next three years. Congratulations to Lily. The Applied Arts 10th grade award is being presented to Skylar Lack. We're so pleased to give this award to a student who raises the bar for our student body with his integrity, perseverance, and work ethic. He has been instrumental in completing the 2020 yearbook despite the challenges we've encountered this year. The Applied Arts 10th grade Core Value Award this year is being given to Felicity Savage. Felicity is an extraordinary young woman who goes above and beyond in both her academics and her community and family service. She has a heart of gold and an exceptional work ethic, which has only been strengthened by this time of virtual learning. Thank you, Felicity, for all you do. The Applied Arts 11th grade award goes to Samuel Mays. Sammy is the type of student found at the core of a, of a successful program. His work in jewelry and medals demonstrates a student who is not only serious about learning, but also demonstrates what it is to be a good member of the school community. Congratulations to Sammy. In Applied Arts 11th grade, the Core Value Award goes to Chemiche Blake. Chemiche works hard without complaint with her teammates to help turn out delicious food every time we're in the kitchen. She brings a positive, fun, can-do attitude to the class and has already made a significant impact as she continues to grow in this medium. In the visual arts for ninth grade, this award goes to Molly Coakley. Molly has a unique and talented eye for the quiet, minute details in her photography. She is mature, talented, and eager to learn. With congratulations, we offer it to Molly. The visual arts core value for ninth grade goes to Jake Wanamaker. Jake is an artist with talent, dedication, and innovation. Moreover, he is a valued voice and ally in the art classroom, offering helpful advice to peers, volunteering for extra work, and attending art club. In visual arts, the 10th grade award goes to Diora Strobin. Diora's work in ceramics has been exceptional. Her process of making her portfolio shows research and attention to detail. This is evidence that she can be an excellent student and as well as an accomplished artist. The Visual Arts 10th grade Core Value Award goes to Callie Griffin. It didn't even stop Callie when she showed up for wheel throwing with a brace on her wrist. She continued to excel and make her presence known. Her make it happen attitude and determination is what has won her this Core Value Award. In visual arts, the 11th grade award goes to Sophia Whipple. This junior artist is always coming up with unique art projects. They challenge her with each assignment, striving in a studio setting. The junior art award goes to Sophia Whipple. The 11th grade visual arts core value award goes to Anna Chance. Anna is a committed, compassionate, and driven young artist with dedicated to her personal time to refining her craft and assisting her community. She takes school art classes, community art classes, and travels with youth groups, speaks at community centers, and is a constant breath of fresh air. In the performing arts, the ninth grade excellence award goes to Emma Taylor. Emma's been involved with both the band and the drama program during her freshman year. She's an incredibly supportive and creative individual, writing her own song for a distance learning project and performing in our Rock the Home event. In the Performing Arts, the ninth grade Core Value Award goes to Rihanna Jones. Rihanna, although new to Nosset, has fit right in and made a huge impact already. She's active in band as well as chorus and was selected to represent Nosset High School at the junior district level. In the Performing Arts, the 10th grade Excellence Award goes to Catherine Sanborn. 
Katie is a member of the jazz band as well as the honors chorus. She's an exceptional student with an exceptional work ethic and an exemplary student for others and peers. The Performing Arts 10th grade Core Value Award goes to Bailey Harris. Although Bailey is a new addition to the orchestra this year, she's made an important impact in chorus as well as drama. Learning a new instrument is always a challenge, but Bailey's worked hard to continuously improve, bringing a positive attitude and kindness to everyone in the group. The 11th grade Performing Arts Award goes to Catherine Hillier. Catherine's an active member of the band and orchestra. In addition to working on the production side of several NASA drama department shows, where she's been an exemplary leader as stage manager. She's hardworking, strives to improve her own skills, and is always available and willing to help those around her. The 11th grade Core Value Award goes to Lily Schumann in the Performing Arts. Lily has an exceptional work ethic and loves to strive to perfection. Her vocal skills are examples for her peers to follow. Congratulations to Lily. And the last two awards are annual awards, the first of which is the Chatham Chorale Award being presented to Nell Hamilton. Given annually to an outstanding vocal music student with potential to excel and continue in this field, the Chatham Chorale Award is being presented this year to Nell Hamilton. And lastly, the Carol Potoff Memorial Award is being presented to Avril Burho. The Carol Potoff Award is given each year to the most successful art student or students in the medium of clay. It's an award that celebrates productivity as well as creativity. Carol Potoff was an arts educator here at Nauset who celebrated discovery and creativity. It's with pleasure we present this award this year to Avril Burho. Congratulations to all these students. The ninth grade physical education award goes to Corey Vendetti. Corey showed great effort and constant improvement in his classes this year. He led by example. The 10th grade physical education award goes to Carolyn Keith Jones. Carolyn's teacher describes her as a quiet leader, kind to classmates, and eager to participate. The 11th grade physical education award goes to Mason Cornell. Mason is a hard worker who is always on task. He is a high character young man who is a leader in class. The ninth grade PE Core Value Award goes to Lily Hay. Lily shows consideration to others and shows enthusiasm that is contagious. The 10th grade PE Core Value Award goes to Allie Hull. Allie demonstrates maturity in her classes and also provides leadership on a daily basis. The 11th grade PE Core Value Award goes to Henry Watson. Henry always leads by example and brought positivity and friendliness to his classes. Congratulations. Good evening. There is no doubt that since the COVID-19 pandemic has shuttered us, we have been constantly urged by civic leaders and others to simply be kind. Last year, NOSID stickers were distributed around campus reminding us to be kind. We like to think of NOSID as a very special community comprised of many kind students and staff. There are, however, two underclassmen who have been observed by others and were nominated for the Nauset Regional High School Kindness Awards. These awards were created in memory of Jeremy Walters, a Nauset Regional High School student who died in 2016. The awards are intended to build a community of kindness at Nauset we are excited to recognize the following students who have been observed throughout the school year performing acts of kindness, generosity, and support to others without seeking attention for their actions. Each student receives a $500 check. We are pleased to announce the 2020 winners of the annual Nauset Regional High School Kindness Award, Junior Ethan Keeney and sophomore, Wyatt Falk. Good evening, I'm Keith Kenyon, an assistant principal at Nauset Regional High School. It gives me great pleasure to present the Hugh O'Brien Youth Foundation Leadership Seminar Award to sophomore Sophia McManus. 
Sophia is receiving this award because she possesses leadership qualities and motivational skills. This award, award includes a week at Emmanuel College Seminar for Leadership in the near future. Congratulations, Sophia. For the National Merit Scholarship Program, the following students took the preliminary SAT National Merit Scholarship Qualifying Test and met requirements to enter the 2021 National Merit Scholarship Program. These high performers have shown outstanding academic potential with a selection index score of 209 or above. From more than 1.5 million entrants, these students are amongst the 50,000 highest scoring participants in the country. Lucy Blood, Garrison Gazo, Clementine Voltz, and Michael Whitney. Congratulations to those four members of our junior class. Presidential Academic Achievement Awards are presented annually for outstanding academic achievement. These students earned high honors for the first two terms of the 2019-20 school year. From our junior class, Lucy Blood, Sydney Griffin, Garrison Gazeau, Michelle Hanault, Camille Liska, Abigail Marks, Rachel Mumford, Lily Nanin, Isabel Nobly, Cambria Parrott, Cecilia Pekarsik, Emma Pike Stein, Rachel Pranga, Liam Randall, Haley Richardson, Lucian Sizer, Anna Shantz, John Shortis, Tess Tolumas, Isabel Tesson, Isabella Valentino, Clementine Baltz, Krista Walsh, and Henry Watson. From our sophomore class, Cooper Giuliano, Alexa Hoffman, Luke McCarthy, Melissa Richard, Catherine Sanborn, Diana Williams, and Eric Zhao. Congratulations to all. The achievement awards for grade nine are as follows. Reese Burge, Molly Copley, Ashton Daniels, Alexander Dutois, Emma Easley, Lily Hay, Timothy Johnson, Jonathan Nays, Patrick O'Keefe, Jillian Parrott, Mia Stafford, Amelia Stevens, Malcolm Stewart, Nicholas Voll, Jake Wanamaker, and Ella Woods. The Community Service Awards, these students have completed 100 hours of community service and will be recognized in the Nauset Hall of Fame with a brick. Grade 11, Megan Farrell, Hannah Jepson, Rachel Mumford, Isabel Nobley, Grace Santos, Krista Walsh, and Jada Streetlander. Grade 10, Alana Daly, Cole Handel, Catherine Hillier, and Noah Walsh. In grade nine, Peyton Kender and Katrina Hatch. The following students have earned permanent recognition in the Hall of Fame and have a brick with a Nauset N on it for completing 200 hours of community service. In grade 11, Natalie Cuomo, Tamer Gondauer, Quinn McDonald, Rachel Pranga, and Anna Shuttles. Grade 10, James Souza. In grade nine, Savannah Still. The following students earn a permanent recognition in the Hall of Fame with a brick 
and two Nossen ends for completing over 300 hours of community service. In grade 11, Lydia Hollick and Sarah Doucette. And in grade 10, Taris Green and Catherine Sanborn. Congratulations to you all. Thank you to everyone for coming tonight. And thank you again to the families and to the teachers who have provided so much support and so much guidance for the young people. It is because of our work together that the tide continues to rise for all of us. Peace.